Hey everybody, welcome in. Well, Rick Lawler here and yes, I'm in front of the camera instead of just the voice of Rick behind the camera here doing my videos and such. And I'm really excited and the reason I'm in front of the camera right now is because we are starting to release the new range of AK Real Colors. Let's start diving into what we have here with our brand new paints. Well, the first thing you're going to notice is that we have brand new packaging. So the bottles look completely different here. We have these tall bottles as compared to the original bottles of AK Paints. Just know that right now what we have is the relaunch of Real Colors. New bottles, this handy dropper, which I'm, I'm really excited about this. This makes my life so much easier. 17 milliliters. So we do have more paint within these bottles. So I think the real test here is to see how this works with these new dropper bottles. So here we go. Let's just take a look here. So what I might do is I'll take a pipette and I'll take some of the Real Colors High Compatibility Thinner. And now the convenience of the new dropper bottles. I'm excited about this. We'll just drop about an equal number of drops in, say about five drops and five drops, something like that. I'm going to give that a quick mix just straight into the airbrush cup. And now we can take a look and see how this might work. And now we could do just a small test. So I've got this gray piece of cardstock. So this is cardstock, plastic stock that I've used with some primer. Give it a coat of primer. And now let's just do a little bit of spraying with the And as you can see, that's working very, very well. I have a lot of control. Again, it's about a 50-50 mix with paint to thinner at this point. I think we might be able to play with that a little bit to your preference. That looks pretty good. And so, if you have your thinners already, don't worry about it. This still works with this. Everything still works together. And now, speaking of old paints or the old range of AK real colors versus transitioning to the new colors, there is going to be a conversion chart. So if you have, say, this bottle of paint and you want to find the new color in this bottle of paint, there will be a conversion chart to do that. So don't worry about that. These colors will be accurate. And what is really, really cool about this kind of reboot of the line here is that we're bringing in a lot of new colors and those will have to do with modern military, modern civilian colors. So now we'll have a range of paints that are specific to civilian vehicles, say even modern cars. I'm sure everybody's really wondering how do they work? Well, in future episodes, because we're under time constraints right now, we will spray these paints on plastic and you'll be able to see the results. So until the next time, everybody, take care and real colors.